and sit here and do some editing. It's quite cold. Some people around. Hoping they don't want to interact. They're making noise. It's quite annoying. <laughs> Hello gang, hello friends, hello gang friends, oh that was a horrible one, <laughs> lost my voice this smidge. Hi, my name's, I can't remember my intro, how are you, you okay? My name's Joe, and I do nail stuff, oh for f sake. She does stuff for nail stuff, and stuff she does for nails is done with nail stuff, and stuff for nails, bouncing rainbows. You okay? How are you? I hope you're all doing well. Uh, I'm starting this set off with boarding pass, um, and I'm going to do this over all nails. I'm going to do an ombre with boarding pass and Boo Bird. <laughs> I can't remember. Um, this ended up being very, very subtle um, as per I kind of, once I'd finished blending, I blended some more and then a little bit more and then I did some blending followed by just a bit of blending and then we topped it off with some blending. So I kind of lost I kind of lost the ombre a bit, but I knew I wanted the background to be blue and I thought I'd make it a bit more interesting by doing an ombre. So, oh yes, okay, so I'm showing you, I'm using Art Canvas, I'm showing you how I drew up this design on the nails, but I'm showing you on here because it doesn't show very well when I'm trying to pencil it on the nails. So I'm going up, down, up and swoosh, I'm taking it up and then straightening out the sides the top, sorry, you can see, I don't know why I'm trying to explain this. This is what I drew in pencil on the nails. Um, and then I actually divide, I drew a line halfway between each of those sort of um, sections. So I knew that three colors needed to be in one half and three needed to be in the other. Uh, it, this set in my mind was gonna be great. I didn't enjoy, do <laughs> I didn't enjoy doing it. I didn't enjoy editing it and I don't know, hopefully I'll at least enjoy the voiceover or you will. Um, so this is how I'm doing it there and obviously the middle section there, the colours go back to front because that's the underside of the rainbow. Um, I hope it translates well as I'm doing it on the nails but if you want to sort of screenshot that, that purple line stays visible the whole way through because that's the outside so that line will go um, you know, they, it won't be cut off anywhere. Does this make sense? I hope so, because it took me f***ing ages. Um, I'm twisting my pencil, so there's a lot of um, uh, lead sticking out. This is what I do when I'm on clients, because when you put their fingers together, then you can get into the sidewalls when drawing out a pattern that um, goes across all the nails, and you can draw it out getting into the sidewalls without your hand or the pencil being in the way. What a, you know, who cares what I'm doing with the pencil nib, but that's what I'm doing. Um, so this is me drawing out the design on the nails. I did a couple of goes of this. I'm not sure whether this was the one I kept, but it's it's meant to look like what we just saw on the um, Art Canvas app, which came with my tablet. So I'm not sure if it's available in, it might be available on Play Store, um, but I'm not sure about the, um, Apple, whatever their store is. Uh, so I'm now going to start with my colours. Is that bubble gum? I've put bubble gum. I don't know if it is, you know. I think it might be flamingo pink. I'll double check and I'll um, let you know. <laughs> um, so I'm mapping that out on here just where it's going to go and then I'll take each nail separately and um, work on that on there so I know where it's going on here so I'm just going to work on that and that's kind of all I'm doing for the whole video um <laughs> I didn't realize when I was doing this that it wasn't going to make for a particularly interesting video um but I'm trying uh, I can't now it's sort of springy time well heading to spring aren't we it's going to be all flowers and um Oh, I just, I'm not a fan of drawing flowers. That's what foils are for. But I will try and do, I will be doing obviously some spring flowery stuff and I'll do some Easter ones as well. Um, so I've now got summer peach and I'm going to do the same. Just put it next to the pink 
in on all the nails and again I'll just be doing that all the way through and we are going to put a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow so that this is classed as a St Patrick's Day set but obviously you could just put a cloud at the end of the rainbow and it could be an any day set whatever day of the year you like um, with regards to um, spring Eastery nails I am trying my hardest to be inspired by cute pastel flower stuff <laughs> um, so we will I will get on that at some point so this is it what it looks like at the moment and I'm going to do the yellow all the way through oh and that's done <laughs> I think I, when I was editing I was like this is not interesting for anybody um, so I've done the yellow and the green and the blue um, and I'm now taking the purple um, the lines have got thicker as they've come closer one reason being the main reason being is that um, I don't know my halfway line clearly didn't work um, but also I figured that's fine because that part of the rainbow is closer to us anyway that's what I'm gonna tell myself it's fine uh, so I'm taking the purple which is wild violet and that's going to as I say when as I said when we're drawing the picture the purple line will be seen all the way through whereas the others get sort of cut off as they twist and turn the purple one is going to go all the way through I like this nail the best oh and I've only done four nails um, I figured this design would be done over if you were going to do it um, over the four fingers and not the thumb kind of that and the fact that I didn't want to do five like it because it was a bit samey and I've completely f***ed up the tail end it should have gone in more of a sort of arch but it's I've tried to wisp it off and it didn't go right but that it was done I wasn't starting the tail end again so I wiped and buffed just to kind of smooth out all the the lines and then I outlined in white which I forgot to press record or something I don't know I was getting I wasn't enjoying doing it just because I wasn't convinced that it was going to come out looking any good so I was just kind of angrily painting um, so I uh, in my head I thought nobody's going to enjoy this don't worry about filming the outline <laughs> nobody wants to see everybody's gone they've gone already um, so I'm now taking chocolate truffle and I'm just painting a pot the last the last video I did a St Patrick's set the pot kind of looked like a cauldron um, so I thought let's go brown this time um, so making sure I'm doing that over the first two nails um, and then we're going to um, put some gold in it as well but I thought um, the chocolate truffle I thought the pot needed a bit of shimmer because there's something magical isn't there about rainbows and pots of gold so oh we're doing that in a minute <laughs> this is awful I'm mixing Alaska and the first base, which is the base coat. All these colours are gel perfection colours that you can get at diamondglitters.co.uk and you can use code TEENDG for a discount. Um, I'm taking my brush that I've destroyed. What happened? I think I left it out and it had gel in it, so I had to use acid. I've just I've destroyed it. Um, but I'm taking that mix and I'm just patting, just pat, 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 and then sort of give the brush a wipe, a smidge, and then pat bring the patting down so the cloud fades out and then I'm going in and just patting in sections not necessarily adding more product but just to give it sort of some depth and look like you know like clouds <laughs> um, they're not completely block solid and they're not completely see-through there's some sections that are whiter than others and some are a bit more see-through so I'm just patting there is literally all there is to these clouds um, but I really enjoyed doing clouds this way. This way, it's easy. It's foolproof. Just, just pat. Uh, so I'm taking hazelnut now, which is a shimmery brown, um, just to give that pot a bit of a bit of shimmer, a bit of magic. Um, and then I'm giving it some uh, like a, a lip or just the pokey out bits at the sides there, um, and just straightening the lines so that rainbow is going into the pot. And now I'm taking the first base again and similar to how we did the pot of gold in the last St. Patrick's Day set, which was a few days ago. I'll put a link to that in the description. Um, 
I'm putting some first base on there and we're going to take gold holographic multi-mix. It's so beautiful. I always have to cut these bits because it turns out I sat there just staring at it for about 30 seconds. <laughs> um, so popping that on the wet. So I haven't cured that base coat. We're just using that as kind of, you know, a glue type. We're just using that to stick the gold down. So I'm trying to expel from my facial orifice. Um, you'll, see, you'll see that I've done more clouds on over all the nails. But again, as I was filming this, I just thought, I just, I wasn't enjoying what I, what I thought it was going to come out like. So I think I'd annoyed myself by messing up the tail. So I thought, that's it, whole set's ruined. Nobody wants to see it. So I did more clouds, but it was quite a repetitive set, you know, doing lines in the same place, doing clouds over the nails. Everything was kind of samey. Um, so I, I cut a bunch. I've outlined the pot in black, blackout, and now I'm going to top everything with super gloss, super gloss, get rid of the glitter. Um, and the super gloss, so I'm going to top all of them with this. So where we've got the glitter on the, um, on the ones with the pots, um, then we won't have to top and buff because um, super gloss will seal it all in nicely um just make sure that your glitter is as flat as possible when you cure if it does you know if ever you do a nail that's got glitter on it comes out and it's a tight you know if i even feel a, like a grain like a tiny teeny grain that's not smooth i can feel it then i'm buffing that nail and retopping just to make it smooth um but i didn't do that with this um because i'm putting super gloss on and, and it will um, it's thick enough is where I'm going with this. It's thick. It's a rubber top coat and it will leave you bump free as long as you've, you know, made sure it's flat before curing. This is the final look. How do you feel about it? Let me know in the comments below. I messed up the tail and I thought I'd just ruin the whole thing. So I wasn't feeling enthusiastic about it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for being here. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. -bye.